Hey everybody, it's Mike Portnoy here, and it's time to put on your dancing shoes because I'm about to play Dream Theater's The Dance of Eternity. So the Dance of Eternity is pretty universally agreed upon to be one of the most technically challenging things I've ever written. If you don't know the backstory, uh, on the Images and Words album, we had a song called Metropolis Part One. For years and years and years, everyone was like, wow, when are you gonna do a Metropolis Part Two? Long story short, we ended up writing a song called Metropolis Part Two. It turned out to be about a 20 minute epic. When time came to begin the, the Falling Into Infinity album, the label wouldn't let us put it on there. And uh, a few years later, Jordan Rudis joins the band, and we decided, okay, what is the first album we're gonna make with him? And we decided, let's do a concept album, and let's take that original, original Metropolis Part Two demo and expand it into a full-length album. So we ended up writing an, enti an entire album called Metropolis Part Two, Scenes from a Memory. Once we got to the center of the album, we decided we wanted to write the craziest instrumental we could possibly write, and this is what we came up with. I think I remember there was this one video of you with uh, like all the time signature changes. Do you know how many time signature changes are in this song? Oh God, no. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, this this song has so many twists and turns, and it's constantly going through all these different things. And some of them are, are uh, callbacks or recalls to the middle of Metropolis. Uh, there's a section towards the end of the Dance of, Ter Dance of Eternity where it's going, which are all um, group, uh, groupings of fives and sevens. A five is, and then a seven is. The entire Scenes from Memory album has all kinds of little nuggets like that and callbacks to the original Metropolis Part One, but Dance of Eternity as an instrumental, we were able to really dig into it and get pretty clever. There's all kinds of clever things throughout the song. Uh, a lot of it stems from my fascination with numbers. For instance, uh, once we kick in, we kick in with this pattern. All that was was me coming up with something, okay, we're gonna do two. And then now let's do three. Now let's do four. And then we come back to the, the number thing, but let's reverse it. So instead of going two, three, four, and then when we come back to it, we go four, three, two. So we go. It's, it's a similar thing that I've done throughout my career, especially with Dream Theater music, of trying to play with numbers and, and different patterns and get creative in that way. So before I play the entire Dance of Eternity for you, uh, you can check out the drum transcription as well as the drumless version in the link below.
this song was always a, a, a real challenge to play live. And um, it's funny, here, here at Drumeo, I don't know if it will have been released before or after this, but I did a version of Instrumedley. Uh, I played along to that, which was a live medley of instrumental sections, and there's bits and pieces of the Dance of Eternity in that. Uh, but that was a live version where the tempos were flying. <laughs> When I came here to Dromeo to play this version, the studio version of Dance of Paternity in its entirety, it was shocking how pulled back the tempos were, and it was way more relaxed. So I guess live, you know, inevitably, uh, the, the adrenaline is always going, and I, I think it's always good to have that push and pull, and, you know, if you're excited, go with it, and it, 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 I, I've always been a fan of the human element. But yeah, this one was always a challenge, and it was always hard to pull back and let these parts breathe because it's so exciting. The adrenaline is just going when you get to this song in the set. Well, we survived. <laughs> Barely. Holding on by a thread. But yeah, there it is. Uh, definitely one of the most challenging uh, pieces of music I've ever uh, composed and performed. And uh, I'd like to thank Drumio for giving me the chance to uh, resurrect it and play it once, once again for you guys. Uh, after all these years, it was a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully I made it through uh, without too many clams. Hey everybody, it's Mike Portnoy here. Come along with me for a dance. Oh, no, uh, it's time to take a trip down the... No, what, what, what would be a clever thing? Put on your tap shoes and prepare to take a trip with me. No, I can't. Dude, it's so close. And uh, put on your dancing shoes because we're about to take a trip down the dance. Oh my God! Why? Why am I like? That would have worked. All right. <laughs> it's gonna commit. All right. <laughs>